Hey everyone, Adrian from Groundhog here with another update on Groundhog 3.0. Today we're going to be reviewing our campaigns feature, which is all new to Groundhog 3.0. It is a really handy way to keep track of all your different marketing assets and be able to quickly filter through your emails, broadcasts, and funnels. Stick around. So we're going to start off introducing our campaigns feature here in the email editor on the right hand side, you will see under template settings, there is a new campaigns option. Go ahead and expand that. And here you'll be able to put in any number of terms or campaigns that you want to associate with this email, a campaign, you know, if you think about it is sort of like maybe black Friday, which was why we have black Friday as an option here. Uh, maybe like a spring sale. It's sort of a, a general category that you want to associate to different marketing assets that you have. So in the email, you will find that here in the campaign section in the email settings. Now, when you're sending a broadcast, you also have the option to add campaigns. Go ahead and click on the three dots up here in the email editor or through the broadcast scheduler. Click broadcast. Oh, we have to publish it first. Let's go ahead and publish. And then we can send the broadcast. And then the next step after selecting the email is the campaigns. And you can do the exact same thing here and add as many campaigns as you feel is necessary. Going over to our email list, you can see that campaigns show up now in the email list. And so if we want to see all emails that we associate with a lead magnet campaign, maybe click, go ahead and click on email lead magnet. And then that sorts the list for you. This feature also works with broadcast. You can see we have one broadcast sent and we have the sales campaign. If there are multiple broadcasts, we'd be able to see that list filtered by the sales campaign. And again, the same thing goes for funnels. We have that campaigns column. You can filter the list by specific campaigns. If we go ahead and we open up the funnel, we click on funnel settings. You will also see the ability to add campaigns here. So we have support. We can also say uh, maybe a sales campaign. If we have any sort of sales related material in this funnel, then we will be able to see that show up in the list. And you can add as many campaigns as you want and filter that. So in addition to filtering the list of marketing assets that you have, this is also useful for reporting. So let me show you how that works. Let's head over to our reports and we'll pull up our funnels report. Uh, so we still have that big table that shows you all of the funnels, but let's say you have maybe 30 active funnels and you're finding it difficult to sort through all of the data. You can filter this list by the campaigns that you want to see. So if you want to see only funnels that are associated with sales, then you filter by sales. If you want to filter it by support, then you would only see funnels associated with the support campaign. And the same thing goes for broadcasts as well. You can filter by campaign and then only show broadcasts that are associated with the campaign of your choice. So very cool feature. This is the campaigns feature available in Groundhog 3.0.